camera. Give it, give it, give it, give it, off, give it, off, give it, down, down. Give it. What up, everybody? I'm Alex Navarro, and welcome to a smoky, cloudy brain edition of Defending Your Movie. This is where we, the editors of Screen, highlight the films that are so stupid, so insane, and so unbelievably half assed that, well, of course, no one loves them but us. On this week's edition, we shall continue the week's homage to the great stoner comedies of our time as we toke up the nearly forgotten 2001, almost sort of classic, How High. This was a hip-hop Cheech and Chong meets higher learning vehicle for one of rap's great duos in Method Man and Red Man. Got blunt. Got weed. At the time, Meth and Red were some of the biggest, best-selling names in hip-hop, and a movie comedy featuring the perpetually stoned pair seemed, well, completely reasonable. The movie we got was a bizarre combination of traditional stoner antics, rampant pimp jokes, bizarre guest stars, and a barely adhered to plot about two ghetto slackers who, in a fevered pitch to escape their fairly unremarkable lives, smoke magical weed that makes them geniuses. We, we, let, me, let me back up for a second here, because you probably want to know just how that weed became magical, right? Well, let's just say it involves smoking weed grown from the ashes of a former friend of theirs whose tragic death and eventual regrowth leads to his ghost appearing at the moment of prime stonedness to tell them all the answers on their tests. So, there you go. This ghostly cheating gets meth and red into, of all places, Harvard! As you might expect, this leads to some perfectly stuffy protests from the local administration. Who's was all them fly-ass women that Chester was talking about? I mean, so far, I've only seen some stuck-up, nerdy-ass-looking women up. Oba Babatunde, playing the hilariously named Dean Kane, doesn't like that these slack-ass roustabouts are in his pristine Ivy League school leading to quite a bit of back and forth between the pair and the angry, crusty old Dean. It is a college comedy, after all, so of course the Dean is an asshole, and slackers are the heroes. Will you stop your damn sniveling, son? Buck up, Bart! Buck up! Institutions in these films demand to be taken down a peg, if not two. Now, this is the part where I'm supposed to turn the tables on the critical establishment and tell you what a secret piece of brilliance How High is. Uh, I'm supposed to dig into the unmined subtext and show you the brilliant social commentary that places How High above mere stone stupidity into the realm of true, uncelebrated cinematic gold. Except I can't. There is no subtext. There's no unrecognized brilliance to How High. I mean, straight up, this is just a stupid fucking movie. It has less a plot and more a loose string of sketches hemmed together by worn strings of hemp. The film's writer, Dustin Abraham, spent pretty much all of his years following How High's release writing episodes of CSI. And its director, Jesse Dillon, who is actually the chubbier, dorkier brother of Wolf Hour's frontman, Jacob Dillon, and also the son of Bob fucking Dillon, has spent most of his time working on commercials and documentaries about Ricky Jay. Suffice it to say, no one involved in the making of this film had great aspirations for the high art of filmmaking. Still, taken as a piece of purely pot-fueled stupidity, How High is actually sincerely great. Sure, the jokes are, at times, kind of lazy and gross. Uh, and if you actually care about the story, you might want to see a neurologist to make sure you aren't missing a piece of your brain. Ooh. Oh. But there is an ace of How High's sleeve that makes this whole thing work, and that's Meth and Red. These guys have a natural chemistry that successfully drove their pairings on record, and it carries over into their on-screen work as well. What, Jamal? You don't want that. Them girls only know three words. Stop, no, and don't. Uh-uh, my brother, you got those words backwards. They always tell me, no, don't stop. Excuse me. Player, player. As dumb as this dialogue can be, they sell it, and damn it if it isn't inexplicably funny, even when you aren't, um, you know, aided by... Substances, shall we say? The movie also boasts a kind of insane embarrassment of random cameos and bit parts. Just to name a few, you've got Fred Willard as the school president, Jeffrey Jones, before everyone was totally creeped out by him, as the vice president of the US of A, Lisa from Saved by the Bell, Mike Epps as a slap happy pimp, Pay that shit. Hector Elizondo, nice comeback on the dick butt kiss. The weird thief guy from Conan the Destroyer. Judah Freelander. Tracy Morgan. Who gonna cut the grass? I know you don't expect me to sell no peanuts out this bitch. The mom from the Are We There Yet TV series. Chuck Liddell. 
Cypher's Hill! And Spalding fucking Gray. If it's Snowflake, Whitey, Pale Face, Pekka Woods, Cracker, we might have Moses looking like this fine black man right here. Fuck history! And again, I have to highlight Oba Babatunde as Dean Kane. Uh, a more delightfully square and uptight black man has scarcely existed in the history of time. And the way he revels in the silliness of the role is, it's just priceless. As it came just a few years removed from bona fide stoner classics like Half Baked and The Big Lebowski, How High really only registered as little more than a profane puff of smoke amid a haze of better, more iconic films. It made a little bit of money at the box office, but not enough for Universal to greenlight a much talked about sequel. Talked about by Method Man and Red Man, anyway. It was also, predictably, savaged by critics. It was one of those movies that newspapers and publications cared so little about they actually sent their interns out to review it, while the real critics handled bigger and more important movies. Like Lord of the Fucking Rings, for instance. Yes, it actually opened against Fellowship of the Ring, and let's face it, no movie attacking that juggernaut was going to get much attention. Uh, but I think it especially uh, hurt how high is box office opening. Fellowship, with all its pipe weed smoking and psychedelic hobbit freakouts, uh, clearly cut mightily into the stoner audience. Seriously. Who smokes more weed than Tolkien fans? I know. <laughs> now, while it wasn't terribly successful, or really even terribly good by general filmmaking standards, How High is nothing if not earnest. It delights in its own stupidity, and nobody making this movie looks like they're doing anything but having a ton of fun. Meth and Red, sadly, didn't get to do too many more starring vehicles beyond a short-lived mid-2000s sitcom. But How High remains a hilarious testament to exactly how much these guys ruled hip-hop's popular culture of the late 90s and early 2000s. I don't know that a real, honest-to-God defense for this movie exists beyond, it's pretty goddamn funny, especially when you're high! But then, isn't that the very essence of the stoner comedy? <coughs> I didn't inhale! By all means, feel free to tear me to shreds in the comments for defending something so willfully dumb. Or if you too love you some how high, defend me for defending it! Once again, I've been Alex Navarro, reminding you to be careful when feeding drugs to a tiny Chinese man. What the fuck is that?